Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. In this video I try to explain you why any number divided by zero is undefined or infinity. So how can we explain that fact? First of all I want to start with the expression. For example, let's multiply this 5, five, five times 3. As a result, as you know, we will have 15. So this is 5 times 3 equal to 15, nothing hard. And let's divide both sides by 3. So as a result we will have that 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5, which is correct. This is a, a classic classic trick, dividing both sides by 3. We will have our 15 divided by 3 equal to 5. So, why I write this this case? Let's divide 1 divided by 0. And we don't know, of course, what the values that represent. So, for example, equal to x. So, we don't know what the answer. But from here, if we divided both sides if we multiply in both sides by 0, we will have an interesting case that x times 0 equal to 1, just multiplying both sides by this 0. And as you can see, any number dividing by 0, we will have 1, this is not correct, this, is, this fact is not correct. So, moreover, I want to prove another way this, this problem, so let's draw a graph. We have a graph 1 over x, 1 divided by x, but x equal to 0, we will see what will happen in this, in this point. So let's draw a graph, we all know how this graph looks like, this graph looks like that. And take a look, if we have for example 1 half, this point will be right here, 1 third right here, and this graph shows that closer and closer this axis does not intersect. This axis and this axis will be closer and closer, closer and closer to goes to the infinity, but does not intersect in any point. If we will have, for example, one million, we will have one over one million, which is really closer to null to zero, but does not intersect. So this is a graph method how to show it, but it's a really good trick to show that x multiplying by zero equal to one. This is not correct, but we write a 5 times 3 equal to 15, and this is a correct case, but if we write this using the 0 in our denominator, this case is not correct. So write your question in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment, maybe you have another method how to prove, prove this, it will be really interesting to read it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.